Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new, of course. Tis I, the only archer with Archer Astrology. How are ya? Pisces, it's time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind for the middle to the end of March of 2024-ish, or whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit, because my readings are timeless and meant to find you when they find you. And I do appreciate you for being here and being a part of this. If you could love the like over here, down here for me, please share the channel and the video, help the familiar to grow and just help heal everybody. It's a thing we do. It's a genre and we never get crowded. I appreciate you all for being a part of it. Also, subscribe, set the bell to all notifications. I do go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you're watching this right now, I'm going live tonight. So join me along with the OG Mod Squad, your concierge for an evening of fun down in the chat. And we will just heal, get a little nosy, and have a good time all right um what else we got going on oh my gosh the big story the big energy news story um is the cleveland meet and greet the total eclipse meet and greet is happening i am coming to cleveland for a meet and greet to eclipse all our meet and greets out um for the total eclipse um april 7th and april 8th on april 7th i will be at three and three shine in warrensville heights ohio from one to seven so you can either come and hang out with us you can book a reading with me if you email me at archerastrology at gmail.com or don't just come and hang out either way the spots are filling up so if you want to you can if not we'll work it out just come and be there be a part of the fam all right we're going to do the music the tarot the astrology the pick cards i'm like bringing everything on the road all right we're going to do it in style 313 style and have a blast and i look forward to seeing you and being a part of it all the details are down in the comment section and also in my community post and on my instagram so Follow me there, TikTok, here, there, and everywhere at Archer Astrology. You can find me. Just look me up, all right? My name. You'll find the number. All right, Pisces. Um, let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? There are awesomeness galore. Those pick card readings, the base covers. I pretty much gave it all away during that part. So we need to keep going. There's awesomeness. All you got to do is look around, check it out, see my future pages for more, and uh, we'll go from there. Bill's coming along. You know how this stuff all goes. He's a Gemini. He's cool. He's cool. All his strings are tuned up and ready to roll. All right. Pick cards. We got the chariots and everything's coming along. So it, snoop through the channel. Everything is neatly prioritized and organized into playlists for your viewing enjoyment. So you can have a fun time with it. Preview cards. I love preview cards. We have the Knight of Swords to the Two of Wands. Ooh. You're making a decision to communicate fast, too, with the Knight of Swords. That is Maverick showing up with Goose, Rooster, the whole crew coming by. So, like, if you're an air traffic controller with the Ten of Pentacles, you know to move your coffee away so it stays off your shirt. Perfect. See? You got plans for your plans. And when you're here with me, you are ultimately and definitely protected. I'll let you know before the planes fly by. All right? Because when you're with me, I'm your ride and die for life. I'm the crystals. I got you covered. All right? Indefinitely and ironclad. All right. So... Pisces, I think we made it through everything. We got the intro covered. I've said it a billion times already, right? <laughs> Anyhow, all right, so we've entered into Aries season. So um, maybe you feel like the pressure is off finally, but then for a moment you don't because the sun's in Leo. So that's, that's some fireness up in the sky as we approach the eclipses. We're into the equinox. There's a lot of stuff balancing. The times are balancing. The light's balancing. Even though we're building up to that full moon eclipse in Libra, on the 25th, that'll be interesting, but it's just a prelude, the intro to the big eclipse coming up in April. E either way, that's when the sun and moon get up there in the sky, and the sun's like, would you stop looking at my light already? And the moon's like, I said, stop looking at my dark side. But this time, this is a total thing. So it's like a total change of pace, like that. Look at this. Two of cups. Hold on, we're looking. We're looking, it's what we do. Ten of pentacles is still there. So you, you, I mean, you are like in check. Maybe you're just here for a checkup. This is like, like your Ten of Pentacles keeps showing up. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of water and emotion. Which makes sense because even though the sun's moved into Aries, like I was saying, the moon is in Leo, but that puts Mars in your sign. Mars has moved into Pisces. So at that point now, there's still like a changing of the guards going on and you're still kind of dominating the water fire energies as you keep Mars kind of cool under control it's learning how to use the words wisely all right and your dominant rock though neptune is still hanging out with jupiter and the moon that's where the crisscross happens right there all right that's 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 literally like the definition of a however moment coming in all right so um it allows you the ability to relax a little bit but approach situations from a different kind of dreamier yet non-confrontational approach 
It's very nice. How Piscerian of you. So nurturing. That's that's your best trait. I love that about you. All right. So let's do it to it. We're going to do nine cards on the table. Tenth card outcome at the bottom of the deck. I'm using the Millennial Tarot for the base cards, doing the heavy lifting. Love this deck. And then throwing the boatload of clarifiers added over here with the Urban Tarot, Grand Theft Auto Tarot. Like I said, everything is highest and greatest good. It's a given. You know how that goes around here. I got you. All right. So let's just do it to it. Let's get right into it because can you see how at, when the sun transitions into a sign, we all kind of take on the characteristics of that sign. But when a planet that's dominated such as Aries, Rock of Mars comes in, it's still a little bit of that adjustment needed to kind of get the flow going. All right. So let's do it to it. I'm with you. I got you covered. Here we go. All right. Pisces, what do we have for you and the one on your mind? Thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Let's do it to it, Pisces. You ready? All right. Here we go. Let's do it. One and two. Let's love this deck for the pretty pure Piscereans. Here we go. Bottom of the deck, the outcome becomes the five of pentacles. It's almost like we saw that ten of pentacles might be something you're still working to create and manifest. And at the moment, you're still kind of feeling a little five of pentacles in the outcome. But when you go deeper with the magician... To the death card gemini virgo scorpio the hierophant brings taurus into the three of swords it is working to achieve the extra pentacles needed with little help from above little help from god to go forward and to rise to a whole new level and come out of this in a very fixed energy taurus scorpio energy so you are manifesting and creating the knowledge needed to get to your ten of pentacles i like that i like that you, you are you're in a powerful energy that's awesomeness so let's go for it What's your present energy? The moon. I got the moon. That is your dominant rock. Well, you and Cancer kind of share it because Cancer owns the moon in, or the moon owns Cancer. It depends on what moon cycle we're in. Maybe moon cycles affect you differently, like the new to the full moon. But this here shows that that ability to, to work with the energies and to, to overcome things from a different perspective. It's, it's the ability to stay on your guard, moon energy, well, keeping your fingers crossed for what's best for the both of you, all right? Even if you don't let it show. That's it's kind of like why when the water signs showed up to pick their tarot cards out, I think it was in France with the Tarot de Marcel days. But Cancer was like, I got the car, cardinal sign first, I get the car. And everybody's like, okay, fine. Then Scorpio looks and like, oh, well, I wanted the car. Fine, I'll just I'll just take the death card and manifest a bigger car. And and then you, of course, in your nurturing ways to make sure everybody was, was well, happy, and taken care of said, I'll take the moon card and you got it. It's the moon. So the moon cycles, the eclipses and that are definitely playing a dominant role in this. It's like you always work best while you're helping others, which is which is an amazing energy for you. The nurturing and the love is already showing up here. You might have moon and Pisces. All right. What is ooh, somebody here watching all their placements? That's cool. All right. What's your immediate influence? <laughs> I cannot. This is why I do tarot. This is amazing. It's the page of swords. So, yeah, somebody's here watching all their signs and placements, trying to make sense of a direction and 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 like wanting to bridge the gap to to look for the answers to like what love is exactly and how to point yourselves in the right direction towards it. All right. Maybe you're getting more into signs and synchronicities or numerology. Right. And seeing the way to put the synchronicities together to learn from this here. It's, it's like receiving a message from the divine. And that's that's you. You're the 12th place. You're the you're the you're the you're the end of the line. You're the guard keeper to the door to Club Divine, and ain't nobody bribing their way in with you. You are you are strong like that, but you maintain your humbleness. So you're learning in a lot of stuff too here. All right, um, it's kind of that energy of wishing the best on everyone, doing the research and the knowledge to to travel in the right direction. Put a pen right on the location. What's your goal or destiny? The Two of Wands. I told you, I told you both the preview cards come back. I just got chills straight down. That wasn't a nine volt to the tongue. Somebody just hooked jumper cables right to me. Whoa. It's like, it's like being able to toe that line, make the decision and looking out and being like, it's like, I hardly even know you. It's a whole new perspective when it's in your goal or your destiny. It's something written into your energetical blueprint that, um, that is meant for you to work through in this time and this timeline. It's, it's an amazing energy here. Something about. Your way of thinking is intriguing to me. I like this. Both your first preview cards show right up. All right. What's their energy? What's their present position? It's the Queen of Wands. Fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I'm pulling Aries off of this this time. That, that they're working on being a spiritual baddie. 
and just constantly going through this energy, um, but powerhousing through it and leveling up each time. It's it's working very good to it's, it's in the in the Titanic tarot. It's third times the charm energy. And when I look at the higher major arcana, when I get to the pages on up, I go full intuition onto it. Where I look at a card and I'm like, Queen, Fire, Wands. Okay, first thing I think of or see sometimes Sagittarius, sometimes Aries, sometimes Leo. In this case, I'm pulling straight up Aries, especially with Mars being in your sign. That's the ability for the third time to be the charm to to rise to a new occasion and to meet. In, a, in an energetical middle that keeps things good for the both of you guys. So even if you don't know it or somebody you're manifesting, it's it's more of a recent connection or energy you're bringing in, but you help them more than you know, Pisces. All right. What is the future influence, the immediate influence on them? It's the two of swords, Libra energy, faith, having some some truth, some the ability to to work through the occasions and the events with having faith in the process while trusting in the path. When, when you're at that point, um, knowing that the Three of Swords is the next card in the deck, or you can just go back to the Ace of Swords, it's that ability to power through it and do what is best for all involved. It's telling me in the Two of Swords that there might be a lot of indecisiveness. I'm not sure, Archer. I don't know. But we're tapping in, we're tuning, because you're in the Page of Swords, so don't worry, I won't tell. But So they're working on manifesting this here to open up and to warm up to the occasion, to the events, and to you. Should be even activating their heart chakras, all right? What is the goal future influence on this? If we take your three cards and add their two cards, oh my goodness, I forgot the math part. I mentioned like numerology and that, or maybe you're just into math or you just like straight up, like just don't like math. A lot of people don't like math. It's okay. I don't like English. I don't word well. I don't speak it to English good. I mean, I'm, I'm fluent in tarot and I will do your calculus just for fun. No worries there. Uh, I, I was a math major, so I like the numbers. Because in the universe, number is the only thing that cannot lie. 2 plus 2 always equals 4. Except in Archer's universe, where 3 plus 2 equals 6. But I digress. That's like that's like pi. It's the conundrum. It's a, it's like that math problem. If a train leaves Boston and a train leaves Los Angeles, where do they meet? Right where you hear the Big Bang. That, that, that's not the right answer. Pisces, stop it. <laughs> that's not the answer to the question. <laughs> Somebody didn't like algebra. Algebra was actually fun, though. Now, when you put letters into it, Archer... It works out, much like what the future influences on the connection. There's a Z-axis involved. There you go. And there it is. It's the Page of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Interesting. I usually will pull Cancer off of this. I pull you off of this. That ability to nurture, to the, the energies that you guys give off, is that ability to, to nurture, to heal, almost without having to say anything. It's kind of like together you guys have the looks or the energies that just connect you to that you go together on this. It's the ability on that page of swords to to manifest and think from a position of love and to think with a with an with an with like the ability to achieve since you were young and looking at things in a much more like a, a younger more innocent thing, you know. It, it may be making you feel younger again and and leap your Pisces even especially get that because you guys you guys age totally different like the fountain of youth shows up. That's why leap your baby Pisces have always intrigued me a lot. It's so cool. But anyways, it's that ability to love and to be loved and to even clear the air and come at things with more of a position of peace and love, all right? Even like without knowing the ways, you find the ways, all right? Neat. We're definitely going to get more into this because this is cool. All right. What's the incoming energy of where you're going to go to? King of Wands. Fire energy. I pulled Sagittarius off of this. The fellow mutableness. You... Sagittarius, Virgo, and Gemini are the mutable signs that as this, this energy shifts, Pluto into Aquarius happens, we're going into the roaring 2020s. But it's it's the ability to approach it from a mutable standpoint. As the cardinal signs ride the uptick of, of the energetical wheel of fortune of the shift, and the fixed signs ride more of a lower energetical point, it's bringing all the energies together and the mutable adaptableness of you, Sag, uh, Gemini, and Virgo to, to adapt and grow from it. So that's some big divine power there showing up, all right? That's that big D energy. When the divine comes in, it's that ability to ride that flow out. So I've got Sagittarius coming off of that. Neat. All right. Now, what is the environmental factors of where it's going to take you to? It's the chariot. Cancer energy. Foot on gas, no, I'm going to crash. Is that tied to the train question? That's not funny. Okay, it's got a little joke. It's cute. It's cute. How cute of you? <laughs> Anyhow. This is that forward momentum to go forward, uh, cancer energy, to do the things that are all affecting for the house, for the home. Fourth house influence on this, where home makes the heart happy, makes the heart grow. And the ability to find 
van life, to find the codependency and the independency together, the ability to live that van life, to go glamping and back and like to adjust to it. Remember back in the days where like living in a van down by the river was, was frowned upon almost? Now it's like high class, all right? It's a whole nother way of thinking where you guys get to to embrace both the abilities to to have that that nurturing, deep empathy and forgiveness of cancer, along with the nurturing abilities of you. And the chariot and the moon are out here. So it's almost like I was mentioning a crisscross energy that comes in. All right. That takes us towards the inner emotions. This is going to be an interesting reading full show. It's the four of cups. The inner emotions is cancerian energy and that that ability that that allows you to finally grow in a way like that's that is from the research that you've done to learn from the things of the past and then adapt them in a cardinal energy for the future very interesting cross on this here so it's that ability to adapt the all the all the decans of your signs of the elements and bring it all together like the first second and third decans of cancer and pisces that almost merge things together into a new approach a dreamier approach at the traditional house and home energy. It's almost like transmuting and changing the Ten of Pentacles into a Ten of Cups energy and manifesting what you dream of. Interesting. All right. So you have got strong cardinal energy right now. Cancer, big time. Aries as well, big time is here. You're here too with the moon. Um, you've also got Libra. You've got uh, this I pulled Gemini off of on the page of swords, and but also Aquarius. So that's interesting. And your five of pentacles gives you the Taurus, the Virgo, and the Capricorn to come in with the fixed energy strong down here. Um, Taurus and the death card is Scorpio to the three of swords. It is working on the ability to crown yourself, stabilize, keep yourself on your toes, on a pivot point, that you're good and ready to roll with this one here. Honorable mentions to Leo too, definitely. Definitely could be a Leo. But anyways, let's roll with that here. Or cusp for energy. Cancer disguised as a Leo. You know, okay, well, they are neighbors, so I get it. In the Zodiac wheel. Never mind. Here's the Leo energy. I told you something was happening. It popped out. Page of Wands, fire energy, Leo energy to come in and communicate in a powerful position that that goes a distance. It's something that that you guys can talk about or get interviewed about or it, the questions being answered with the judgment card to reflect back and look onto the energies in the mutable perspective. OK, it, it kind of cancels out and allows you to warm up and strengthen the connection. And it popped. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Because somebody's ready to pop for you, Pisces, which is which is dreamy. Okay, do you. Let's go. Okay. All right, give me everything you've got on that moon card to the page of swords on the two of wands. Let's roll with it. Here we go. That moon, that moon card is hiding something. And you notice how things are different? Like when the, like you notice when the moon is real full and it's like right outside your window? It's like, whoa, that thing's right there. But then like if you look up at it right now, it's like really far away. All right. So let's see. Anyhow, that was relative. Do do moon card page swords to the two of wands. Maybe we're just getting more into like astrology. Page of wands. Ooh, we're gonna cover that one up because that's working. <laughs> to the judgment card being back. The page of wands is back. The prince and the princess. Leo and Sagittarius. There is no way around that one. Strong, mutable, and fixed energy off of the judgment card here. <laughs> it's nurturing and for everything that you've been through. Wow. The eight of pentacles. The Page of Swords comes back around with the Five of Cups to the Page of Pentacles. Three of Cups at the bottom with the Five of Wands. Working together with Spirit on that Five of Wands, Three of Cups, and following Divine Timing. You could be born on the 23rd or the 25th, possibly. I'm also seeing the 12th comes out and the 13th. But on that, that is working with Spirit. You know, it's 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 that letting go and letting God, but but then understanding that. It's not a fully self-driving thing at the moment, keeping your hands on the wheel and allowing Jesus and God to guide you on your path. Jesus got a wheel collection to blow your mind. But that page of wands, Leo and Sagittarius Center, does show here that whatever the fires that you have been through, it is, it's, it's, over, it's overcoming those fires and you're rising to a much higher plane and a higher level of thinking. And it's impressive. This Eight of Pentacles, oh my goodness, did you see how everything started spinning? The Eight of Pentacles on the Page of Wands shows that you, as a result here, you, you're you in the middle of a level up and a glow up, and the rewards for a higher way of thinking are the rewards of the strides that you have been through on that Five of Wands. You want to bridge the gap on something between you two, and you want to respect them for what they are, what they've got to offer and bring to the table. Page of Swords to the Page of Pentacles on the Five of Cups. It's the ability to learn that even when that curio door is broken, five of cups, Scorpio energy, it's not always missing a boat. 
but sometimes it can even be to look at that carrot cabinet and go, you know what, we could repurpose that. We could take the doors off it. We could, we could put a record collection in it or just put all the plates back and everything. With the two of wands, it's a new dreamier way of thinking here from like, and being able to respect the bridge, the gap as it closes. Hope I'm making sense. But like, so what they want, but what you're feeling is a different connection and a stronger place of confidence that I see here from what you've gone through to keep yourself onto a perspective. Spirit is rewarding you big time. Three of Pentacles, Page of Cups here. So it's like you have dreamt of this perfect connection with the Judgment card to the Eight of Pentacles. Mutable energy, also some Scorpio. I pull Mutable off of it as it sticks to the table. Anyhow, the Eight of Pentacles is showing all that work you've done. Like like a fine watch, a timepiece. When you go into the time watch pieces, the time pieces, it's like a Rolex or a Movado, where all the little intricate gears in it are put together finely by hand. And maybe maybe even something here you like you wished them well and and wanted them to learn and grow from this one here. And in return, it's it's changed your entire mindset. Maybe you like moved or relocated your mindset with the page of swords from the communications to start something totally new and a different way of thinking. Um, you were then going to be born on the 7th. I'm also seeing the 18th shows up. The 19th as well, along with the 2nd, now comes out too. Interesting. Dude, you're striking gold. Dude or dudette, no gender in tarot. It's like, and if you're into the sound waves, you're, you're mixing and blending. It's like 777 hertz mixed with 888 hertz. Wheel of Fortune. That wheel that I was talking about at the beginning to allow the energies to, to manifest and create and go forward on this one here. You're blending all the energies, top shelf on this one, to find your way, Sagittarius and Cancer energy, to the Ace of Pentacles on the Seer, the Magician, the first card, go point, the start point hits right there. Beethoven shows up writing a symphony right there that maybe was unfinished before, but the Ace of Pentacles shows a gold record that comes out of this. Maybe you've noticed the pennies or seeing things on your path that don't startle or spook you anymore. Pisces would be the first one to be like, there's nothing wrong with that black cat crossing my path. It's just a cat that wants love. And I know there's a ladder there, but I want to go and get my coffee. That's, the ladder's just there because the window cleaners are here. You've got this ability to ride out any energy in a positive place and merge the things together. You, you don't have bad luck and good luck. You manifest. You create. All right? You dominate on this one here. And that shows the strengthening in your intuition, the sound waves, the healing that comes out, that allows you to rise above this and, and come into a whole new energies. You or them could actually be a life path number two, maybe a seven or an 11, and um, also seeing the six or life path number six. Interesting. Everything is strengthening the gifts and the connections. You're, you're tying into the links between your left and your right brain, becoming so much more artistic to go with the flow. And look, even how I laid down the bottom of the deck in this place, like you were saying, the clarifiers at the bottom of the deck, those are the ones. Fair enough. Do you. All right. There's nothing etched in stone on this here. It's allowing you to guide and control it. You know, like the right brain. Maybe you're ambidextrous or like you're right handed. They're left handed or something that allows you to tap into both the artistic side and, and, and the, the genius side and combine the two of them. It's bridging a gap. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Appreciate you, God. Thank you, spirit. Amazingness. That this is why I love tarot. This is why I do this stuff. OK, it's uh, maybe like. It's just power energy. You've done so much work. Oh, my goodness. Power energy. And look at all this that comes out. Repeating fours. The four of wands. The twin flame deep soulmate card on the four of cups again. That's angel number 444 on top of 777. Wow, there's deep angel numbers that connects you guys to a deep soulmate twin flame connection that goes a long-term energetical distance. On the five of swords to the three of wands. That ability in the Aquarius energies to, to, to prioritize and organize and to balance things out. That's why I, Aquarius is awesome energy. It's like an all signs. Maybe you're a Pisces, Aquarius, Cusper. But it's that ability to take and roll in, get those three swords and be like, we're just going to set these ones aside. We're going to keep our two swords out to talk, but we're going to use our words wisely. Okay. To manifest in that deep connection. So you see something very strong with them. And we're at the point that we're connecting into their energy. They see the same thing with you. All right. Let's roll with it. Give me everything you've got on that. Queen of Wands, Leo Aries, Sagittarius, Fire Energy. Two of Swords on the Page of Cups. Let's go. Appreciate you. The Hermit shows up to the Death card. Ooh. To the, oh my goodness. That's all Major Arcana. Justice is here. To the Three of Swords on the Two of Cups. With the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. They're connecting. They're sinking here on this one. Or like realizing and seeing it. 
whatever it is. Maybe, maybe in the past they, whoa, did you see that? Oh my goodness. That was so wild. And it stopped at the death card on the death card. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling it. I just got chills all over the place. Literally. Oh wow. The hairs are right up there. That's crazy. I can feel the tingles all over. Maybe you are too. That hermit to the Scorpio energy on the death card is rising and taking that chance on things here. So maybe like they would get nervous or excited, so to speak, in the past. And, and sometimes maybe speak a little quicker than they should. But you've helped them in more ways than you know. And the clarifiers here are all major arcana, especially on the Libra energy that allows them to work through this. Balance the head, the heart chakras, connect everything together. This is my favorite three of swords. And before you're like, well, that's an interesting way of putting it, Archer. <laughs> no, not totally. Because this here shows those three swords in a bathtub. The blood's being washed off and they're being cleaned up so they can be hung back onto the four swords. So you guys can connect to them, reflect on them, and learn from them to recover from them and regenerate from them here. So you've helped them more, even if you're not speaking at the moment or you're connecting on an astrological plane, lucid dreaming and, and projection and all the big five syllable power vocabulary words that Archer doesn't know. <laughs> that's his ability here wow the, you guys are something else you two are, are craziness but i love it um they have put up with a lot you know even if you're not speaking in at the moment they've put up with a lot before you two met right and their clarifiers are where all the major arcana is to show that everything happened in a sense of divine timing everybody heals in their own time and their own timelines here Maybe like, like before you two met, they didn't have anyone to help them work through and elevate through this one. They were doing a lot of the stuff on their own and, and you were doing a lot of your stuff on your own and you guys met in, in, the, in the most unique, auspicious of ways, but whatever it is, you have this ability to help their confidence, to see signs, synchronicities, and see the directions where things are going on here. Okay. The 23rd is another date that pops out to me, or also the second and the third comes out too. And I'm also seeing the 21st. All right, you, you or them, 20th or 21st on that, okay? See, I got the 20 and the 1 here, okay? So let's see. The 7th is also hitting me big time because that chariot's just staring me down like like the headlights, like LED headlights on a car, <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so it's like they just want to open up and they want to warm up to you. It's, it's, maybe they're just a little unsure of how to do it, you know what I mean? After like everything that's happened before and that they've learned to develop this patience and this drive, that motivates themselves forward and onto your level. That's like Sagittarius, Cancer energy. We'll keep in the heart chakra roll with Leo, all right? And the Gemini for the speaking too. Wow, strong placements. Whoa, did you see that? Hold on, Pisces, that card hopped. That means I'm supposed to look at it. It's the Five of Swords. Again, on the Aquarian energy to heal and to overcome those things, the, the ties that bind. When, when somebody else is like, I don't know, I'm unsure about that one. It's the ability to work through it and go, you know, we're going to make the best of this situation together. Four of cups squared. The four is repeating her wild on this one. Okay. Strong Aquarius energy too. Even if you don't see it, there it is with the Empress. Oh my goodness. This is coming together. Like you're clarifying cards for your outcome. Queen of Swords, Gemini Aquarius on the fixed energy. And even though some readers pull Libra, I pull fixed energy off of this. It's Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius that comes into this there. Could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius, or Buzzway of Cancer, or a Cusper. And it just allows the Queen of Swords to let you guys communicate. So I'm seeing it. It makes sense. And Spirit, tell me you're good. Go for it, Archer. <laughs> the Queen of Cups to the Sun. I kid you not. Page of Cups to the Two of Swords. Repeating twos, repeating fours, and the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles squared. Masculine and feminines line up. That Two of Swords comes back to have the faith in the process and to manifest a place of nurturing, of healing, of forgiveness, and love and happiness. Cancer and Leo energy on this one here. It's it's that ability to, to be able to filter out the not so good stuff and the words that can poke the bear and being able to clean up the stains afterwards. Three of swords, like that cleaning the bloods off there. And warming up to each other's perspective. It's a dream that you both set out since you were young to achieve with the Page of Cups. You both manifested this love. The repeating cards are wild on this one here. But it's a loyalty and a trust that you can both respect with the Ten of Swords to the Magician that it's being, it's, it's, it's an equal amount of balance and stability of codependency and independency, right? Fourth and fifth chakras, home is where you put your heart type of a thing. It's being able to be safely put on a pedestal without the fear of being knocked over. 
because you've got enough codependency that like you know they're not going to go anywhere you know they're there for you and you've also got enough independency to to go and do your things to make the time and budget the time wisely and to overcome those addictions and obsessions of the past and to go forward in in a way that's been it's been famous for ages but you finally achieve it and finally grow together in that style in your own version of the ten of pentacles uh, the dream that you have whether it's ten swords ten cups where it's 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 whatever you make of it whether it's the white picket fence and the dog or it's multiple places and properties or it's it's whatever you want of it because you guys are manifesting that dream together wow beautiful energy very nice pisces look what you did this is amazing claim it down in the comment section um because you've got strong leo cancer gemini is here scorpio as well sagittarius taurus Ver you literally got all the signs showing up big time um strong fixed energy and cardinal energy though to, to help you adjust and create this all right you're manifesting your future completely all right i hope this helps claim this one in the comments leave a comment let me know how it resonates i i appreciate you very much for being here pisces and i'll see you tonight for the all signs every wednesdays at 8 p.m all right um yeah remember pisces this will resonate to any and all placements within your chart of pisces because we're not just our sun moon rising and venus signs but all the parts of all our charts and i'm fha compliant and will ironclad read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires all you have to do is ask all right if you'd like to ask email me at our registry yeah, everything's down in the comments section but i'll see you at the live all signs and i'll see you in cleveland we're going to watch the stars and an eclipse all at the same time all right until next time, thank you so much, Pisces, for taking the time out of your day, week, life, love, and energy to be here for me. I appreciate you. In God's spirit, thank you very much for the messages today that we received for Pisces. As always, we are truly grateful very much. All right, Pisces, until next time, I will see you then. All right? Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah, chariot. Love you.